Hello there, everyone. We're back. Welcome back to some more FF15. I screwed that up. I've started playing now, so I've got to do it again. That's fine. Uh, we're playing. We're trying to save the hydrogen. Last time, we did a few side quests. We uh, didn't gamble, because I was being good. And we're trying to save the hydrogen from death. And fighting all these guys at the same time. This is all one big fight, so... All the XP is going to get calculated at the end. I refuse to be killed by you. You're like level 16. There's no way you should be killing me. So, I'm not concerned about that, really. Hello, Hydrian. I know what you must know. That the King of Kings is to drive the darkness from our star. It is in receiving mercy that men offer praise, and in shedding grace that the gods solicit worship. Okay. See ya. Man. Ah. Oh. What's this? <laughs> New ride we borrowed from the Niths. This will get us in close. Serious? Here she comes. I got this. All right, um. We just went under the ocean. Hey, nice job finding this baby. The moment I saw her, I knew we'd go places. Not again. Not making this easy. Not. You, I will not be killed by you. Oh no! <laughs> don't, don't get eaten. Can you reach? And yet, this is keeping a hundred, uh, you know, sixty FPS, no problem. To the fray. Here we go. I'm biding on Leviathan. Uh, I'm going to demand it. Hey, your power! Give it up! Maintain a commanding tone. I'm going to maintain a commanding tone forever. So, you want to do this the hard way? Fine. Uh. The Viking goes stronger. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to do it the hard way. Let's do this. Trial of Leviathan. Defeat Leviathan. Okay. Yeah, this keeps 60 FPS fine, but one room with a few bodies. Nope, can't do that. I think they just took too many models in and didn't use low-poly versions of the models. 
Can't do that. Oh my god, this is a massive tidal wave. Kill him. Or her. Father. That hit hurt her more than I thought. Now, about that ring. On second thought, you let him have it. is fulfilled. All enthralled to darkness shall know peace. Okay, I've turned into supersonic. Or super noctis, I guess. I just go oh, Jesus. Okay. like super OP mode. I think I've temporarily got all of the all of the moves even. All of my royal arms. Can I have a look at gear right now? No. I just want to see what level I was. That'd be unfortunate for you. Ah, oh dear. See ya. I like this, just like this absolute mental moving I've got. Just like warping everywhere. Oh my lord, look at this fucking attack! I feel like a fucking Gradius attack. The 
this whole bee and absolutely destroy it. Expecting it. <laughs> it's like thousands and thousands of damage. I don't know what I'm doing here that I'm doing wrong. If there's something I'm supposed to be doing elsewise. This thing's not going to last two seconds. I mean, I know I'm overpowered compared to it. But that's not going to change. I don't know if it would have given me 9,548 health either if I hadn't have been overpowered. Kill him. Kill her. Kill it. It's going to go down. Fuck off its horns. I just get to blow it up. I'm ready to block. I'm ready. Get parried. I will never be defeated. Bye bye. Harpoon! Oh, <laughs> Flim has it down its entire surface. Jesus! That's a lot. Thanks for playing. Bye bye. Noctis? Uh, uh, Luna? So, you found your way here. And you found me. A chance to see you once more. <laughs> Who would have thought? Well, what do you mean? Why wouldn't you see me? Because my prayers have been answered. My calling fulfilled. That doesn't have to come between us. You are the one, Noctis. The stars shine for you now. 
that which is yours by right shall be restored to you. Do you remember the flowers of Tenebrae? It seems so long ago. You'll find they await you still, blooming from hill to vale. Will you be there? Would that I could join you. But this moment will have to be enough. It's not right. All I... All I wanted was to save you. When the world falls down around you and hope is lost. When you find yourself alone amid a lightless place. Look to the distance. Know that I am there. And that I watch over you always. Farewell. Dear Noctis. <laughs> Back with us. <clears throat> I'll tell the others. Though it may take a bit. You're hurt. A oh, small sacrifice in the greater battle. And Luna? She has passed. <gasps> Umbra left that for you. Callings. Completed chapter 9. So we got our shit pushed in hard. We did get Leviathan, but at what cost? To 
despicable prompter, honestly. Chapter 10. The Heart of a King Across the water and onto the rails, the royal retinue makes for Gralia, the imperial capital. Objective, proclaiming the crystal that they might reclaim their homeland. However, the ring's weight proves too much for Noctis to bear. We're going way the fuck onto, like, a different map entirely. But yeah, we, we got completely destroyed. Arden, not a great guy. He stabbed the oracle for some reason. But I guess we'll find out why. Scourge of the Stars. Several weeks later. Sakar, Magna Fortia. So, we're going to roll through Tenebrae. Not before visiting the royal tomb at Cartanico. Oh, uh, you're sure you're up to that? The wounds have mended. Eyesight's a matter of time. What the hell is wrong with you? What? We're not stopping in Tenebrae. You need to grow up and get over it. I am over it. I'm here, aren't I? Maybe when you're not too busy moping, you can look around and give a shit about someone worse off than you. Let go of me. Has that ring fit you? You'd rather carry it around than wear it? She gave her life so you could do your duty, not so you could sit around feeling sorry for yourself. You don't think I know that? You don't! Ignis took one for you, too. And for what? Enough, Gladio. You think you're a king. But you're a coward. Shut up! Oh, don't do this! I... I get it, all right? I get it! Then get a grip. Pull your head out of your ass already. Not! Leave him. Everyone else in the train, like, uh... Okay. Honestly, if people spoke to me that way, I'd just tell them to fuck off. You know what, Gladio? Piss off. Not just free to roam out the train until it pulls into the station. Off the rails. Walk around until the train arrives. I've just lost the person who's going to be my wife. Yes, Iggy's blinded. I've lost the love of my life. You can all fuck off. How about we fight? If you can kill me, then you can talk. If not, I'll put a throat, uh, sword right through your fucking throat, and then you'll shut up. Do the glasses help at all? Won't you? Dumb fuck. Those men in black are spooking me out. Don't talk about others. <laughs> That's alright. I'd feel a bit weaked out too. Emergency stop the train, alright. 
No idea where the fuck I am. I'm going to hash this out with you right now, prick. The Tree of Castano. Scientists have yet to provide a sound explanation as to why the resource-rich Fadina Castano has been overrun by an enormous tree. Some experts insist, however, that this floral phenomenon may have been a paranormal prelude to the awakening and annihilation of the gods. What is it with Final Fantasy and trains? Dickhead. Magic technology. Damn. I was tell him hit me if it makes you fucking feel better. I'll hit you back. Three times as hard with my sword, but that's fine. Get this high elixir. Yeah, we'd be pretty caught up too if my, uh, the love of my life, you know, predestined to be together gets killed. Trying to help me. And then my friend, who's supposed to be my ally, my brother, tells me I'm being a fucking coward. Because I didn't just get over it immediately. But yeah, I, I mean, I'm not the one who left the party because he got his shit pushed in. Dickhead. Cleaning? I see. Fine. Alright, let's go. Let's go speak to Cardi. I need. I, need, I can't let it go. It would just annoy me too much if it happened to me. I'd be like, "Bro, fuck off." Seriously, stop being a prick. If you don't like hanging around with me, go home. Maybe he is perving on her after all. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't like it when people assume the wrong of you, but the way he handled that makes me think maybe he was just trying to take a peek, you know? Glad you. Oh, I'm going to stand here. Now, now who's been a. Now he's avoiding Hugh. I'm trying to talk to him. He's looking the other way. Unbelievable. The train is now arriving at Kartanica Station. Tanaka. Off the rails. I mean, you all come in with me. Can't help. Can't hurt adventuring me that much, can you? Dickhead. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm still, I'm still not exactly happy to let it go yet. I like Gladio as well as a character, but right in this situation, I think he's being a prick. Hello. Welcome. Hunt complete. Case of the disappearing hunters. Thank you, I'll take my money. 
Gladly. Now then. Some food before you go? Show me the show me the goods. Nearby danger zones, okay. Take a look at the menu. And set dinner course. What'll you boys be having? That that, we'll that looks <laughs> I don't want any of that. Lop. Get it out. Just exploring the train. There might be resources and goodies on it. It's a free rest stop if I want to rest in the train car. Budina Castano, quarry boasting the richest of all reserves in all of Niflheim. After the mines shut down, a variety of wild plants dug their roots into the rubble, defying the natural terrain and gradually transforming the arid basin into a makeshift marshland. Although the quarry lies in Imperial territory, the mines are said to house a royal tomb. Local legends say the oldest king in Aos is interred within, but many Cartanic Cartanicans dismiss these claims as mere fabrications. Tall tales trumped up by Imperials trying to appropriate the legacy of Lucis for themselves. The truth about the tomb lies buried somewhere beneath the silt and soil. Some suppose the demon towering mausoleum was erected as a sign of friendship between kingdom and empire in an age when the two nations enjoyed amicable relations. The scars of war visible across the land, while symbols of peace remain hidden from our sight. That tends to be what happens. A building full of bullet holes is going to stick out in your mind more than a statue of peace. Anyway, I like this train station. It's cool. Hello, I'd like to have a word. Please help me. Yes. Huh? Oh, please, sir. Could you help me look for Yelro, Jaro, Becky, and Joe? Help you look for who, 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 and who? My darling baby chocobos. I thought I'd take them on a trip to see the world, but now they're off seeing it without me. They can't have gone too far. They can barely flap their wings. Oh, they must be so scared. Won't you help me find them? Yeah, okay. Jeez. Of course I'll help. If the monsters down there don't kill you first, the smell probably will. What? Was there a gas leak or something? No one knows for sure, and I'm not risking my life going down to find out. If you want to risk yours, though, then be my guest. Oh, I will. Hello. You boys are heading into the mine. You best go prepared. Come again. Train conductor, man. All right. Welcome, boys. We don't have much, but you'll take care, boys. Take care. See you later, boys. Hello. I take it you've arrived safely, Highness. Yeah. Now I've just got to find out where this royal tomb is. Look no further than the Fodina Castino. There should be an elevator leading down to the quarry from the station. Roger. Good luck, and hold your nose. What? Thanks for the advice, I guess. Pomto? There's an elevator that should take us straight down to the mine. Wonder if the tomb's inside. Those two went to grab a bite in that glorified dining car they call a restaurant. Hey kid, help me out here. You probably already know how the quarry's closed off due to an unexplained accident. What you probably don't know, however, is that this journalist is looking to be the first to get the real scoop on the situation. The thing is, the quarry's crawling with ferocious beasts, and my pen is mightier than my sword. Well, actually, I don't have a sword. But you do. That's why I want you to go down there and take some photos on my behalf. First, I'll need three shots of that big machine while you're at it. I also need one of the abandoned shed down there. Thanks, kid. Okay. Why ask for help when you can just demand it? You said that right in front of him. That, that's ballsy. Thank you. Hello. Come here, buddy. So these guys are just around, but they can't be far. So I'm just going to go look around these nooks and crannies looking for baby chocobos that are running about. There's the lift. The 
be on the platform or in the train somewhere. Hopefully not too far away. They said they could barely flap their wings, so they shouldn't be very far. Ether, thank you. Can't bring my chocobo here, which would make sense because there's no way for it to get over the water to get here. I suppose it could swim, but that doesn't sound very logical, does it? Beautiful bottle. Fantastic. All right, I need to get on the other side of this then. There's also that down there, but I don't know how to get down there yet. I don't know if the chocobo uh, ticklings can be in the mine. I would imagine no, but that doesn't mean much. Just because I don't think it can happen doesn't mean it isn't happening. Right, so they're in that train, eating. Oh, you're this one right here. Come here, buddy. They're cute. I like them. Kartanica. Desolate district in the eastern reaches of the western continent. The way away that transects Imperial territory still stops at the station, but few board the Magnum 40 from Kartanica these days. The elevated railroad platform offers an expansive view of the surrounding area, retaining walls hold back soil on the Sakart mountain slopes, while gas and oil fields pepper the ground below. The famed Fadina Castino can also be seen from the station with an elevator providing direct access. Niflheim sought to recover and restore the magic technology of old as the key to ensuring the nation's future prosperity, but mass production of said magic technology required enormous quantities of coal and oil. Thus, the Empire set its sights on Katanika, a once lively town rife with natural fuels. After the Empire had its fill, however, the city was left as a shell of its former self, drained its resources, and devoid of human life. But besides that, it's still a great place to be. Yeah, I hear you. I see you as well, buddy. I'm coming. There you go. So on the quest... Buried Memories. They did say something about Tenabai. But we just need to go over there and see. But Agnes says she's dead. I don't know why he thinks she is, but we, he tends to have inside information that other people don't have, so I'm guessing that she might actually be dead. But we'll, we'll see, I suppose. So all three of the chicks have been on the actual platform. There could be one in the train. Now that the quest has started, it might actually have spawned in the train, because I didn't see them before. But one could definitely be in the train now. There he is. Hello, buddy. Let's go see if Ignis and uh, Pompto want to talk. They probably don't. He's got his stick. He says his eyesight will heal eventually. Welcome. What's on your minds? But. He's got his stick, so clearly he doesn't think it's going to be soon. Oh, thank you. Aren't they just the cutest? They're the most adorable choco chicks in the world. Yeah, they're pretty cute. I'm not going to argue with you there. Right, so before we get too invested, I'm going to end here, but that's not here. That's not here. 
I mean, I like that the map is saying different things, but this is not the right area. I think it's just using the uh, information of the old map. But this isn't the actual right map. Anyway, I'm going to see you guys next time when we go and ride this elevator down and go into this mine and get another weapon, which will be one of the four that we're missing. See you then. Goodbye.